Pusky. <laughs> so freaking handsome. So Pusky's home. Hi, handsome boy. <gasps> you are gorgeous. At least the sun's shining, so it's not too different from Spain, hey? Not too different. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get whacked in the face, I'm sure. Now, he's licking me to death. Do you like the English? I was gonna say English nuts, but that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Do you like the English nuts? Sorry, I'm a child. So handsome. Oh my gosh, he's rolled. <laughs> nice naked roll, mister. It's just in the turnout pen because it's hardcore for Spanish horses to go straight onto grass. So we're easing him in, but mister has been rolling and pacing. <laughs> Can we talk about the pink tape I got for him as well? I am so excited to have Busky home, as I've said, but I'm just, I get nervous to post these kinds of videos because I feel like everybody's gonna have an opinion, everybody's gonna have their say, and in true social media horse person fashion, everybody thinks their opinion is the law. So, yeah, I've been building this video up for a few weeks, ever since Busky got back, but I've just been hesitant to edit and post it because, ugh, I just don't have the energy for your social media trainers and people that disguise, you know, disguise bullying and negativity as being positive and trying to help people and horses. But I thought I'm gonna share it anyway because I've, I've only shared parts of Busky's journey with you guys and I know you've been interested and I'm just so excited to have him back. Um, this was actually the first day I rode him. Uh, you can probably tell by his mane that had been uh, that had been like that since since his transport back. So it was quite a long journey for him from Spain to the UK. He was full of beans when he got back though, but he acted like he hadn't eaten in about a hundred years. He was so hungry and thirsty and excited and. He was quite fresh, you can tell by the little jog in his trot. So it was fun to ride, but obviously he's still fairly new to me. I've been and visited him so many times, but I've not done that much riding because if you guys watched the video where I found Busky, you'll know that I didn't actually buy him just as a ridden horse. I bought him as a horse to play around with, to do some in-hand work and just to have fun with and rediscover how much I love horses kind of. Um, so I've not ridden him too much and I thought though the best thing to do when they get back after a long journey if they're super energetic is to ride and he was lovely he was so cute this day um the bridle is I think this was Billy's bridle and it really didn't fit him very well so please allow that like it was just the first one we tried and then I moved on and used Sonny's bridle it fit much better and obviously there might be little bits that are out of whack, like the saddle was Billy's as well. He's gonna get all of his own stuff. It's just, you know, when they first get to you, you wanna, you wanna adapt things for them and, and try things. And some of you may be horrified, but the first thing I did was trim his mane. It had gone out of control. Obviously I didn't take a lot off because that would be like a, a fate worse than death. That would be so not cool. But gave his mane a little trim. And I gave, I gave the long bit a little trim too. I gave, I gave the main bit a trim, I did. It, you may notice actually, I don't know if you guys have watched my videos from before. If you haven't, go and have a scroll. Go and have a scroll, there's, there's tons. But he was getting a bit of a dip in his crest and it was worrying me a little bit. And we ended up figuring out that it was basically his mane had just got too heavy and was collapsing his neck. So we decided to put it on both sides instead of just one and obviously trim it as well, but it just grows so fast. As you can see, I trimmed so much off. Please don't, please don't tell me off. But yeah, it, grow, it grows so fast anyway. So we started putting it on both sides. And as you can see, his top line is a lot better, a lot stronger. And 
and he just it looks better on both sides he just looks so beautiful so it was a win-win um, I was just spraying some random stuff in his mane and then I went on Amazon and bought like five things of purple shampoo and the biggest conditioner you guys have ever seen and I'm going to make sure he gets a beautiful uh, purple shampoo at least once every two weeks, you know, we don't want my boy getting brassy now do we? And he looks looking a little bit brassy here actually, now I'm looking. Uh, but I just still, I can never get over this mane, it's the most incredible mane I've ever seen on a horse. So, so cool. Um, this was one of the rides in the week and as you can see he was fresh he was like i'm gonna go out but busky's got a really nice feeling um being ridden he always feels quite fresh quite alert but never feels like he's gonna do anything wrong it just feels like a bit like i'm here everyone look at me and yeah he just he's like i am a showman and i want to show everyone what i can do but it feels super safe which is really nice like i really really like safe safe animals um as you can see he's got quite a choppy little trot um i'd li i'd just like to reaffirm i didn't buy busky to compete or even to ride ride i bought him like i said a minute ago to to play around with and to love horses and to learn in handwork and stuff like that so i'm sure everyone's going to have a comment on his paces um i'd be i'd be frankly quite shocked if there wasn't but yeah just remember that just because something isn't what you think is technically correct or right doesn't make it wrong it's it's i love him i absolutely love him and for me nature was more important than paces uh, i've got some beautiful horses in the stable with phenomenal paces just take g just take sunny it's not what it was about but I did think the best thing to do in the first week was to just ride a lot, get him used to being ridden in England, um, used to me as a rider, and it was just good to get rid of some of the energy, actually, because he was fresh this first week, like, super fresh. Um, a little bit more difficult to handle, but if you think about it, it's quite a lot for a horse to do, to travel three days from Spain, to be in a completely different climate, to, to be around new horses, and just all hard work. Like, it just blew his brain slightly, but he is settling really well now. Don't know why that flittered to the exact same view. Okay, here, you can see he just did a little yank in his defense. G was running wild in the field and basically what happened is we have a rescue Shetland called Bacardi. I really don't share much about him because he is not the most friendly, let's put it that way. But yeah, we rescued him a few years ago and G hates him. I don't know why, but G hates him. So Bacardi decided to start whinnying at Gizmo and Jack because we put them out to play together quite a lot and yeah, G hated it. He was like, oh my god, get it away from me. It was, it was nowhere near him. Um, so G lost his marbles and started galloping around the field, which always makes me go, oh god. But I also do love watching a horse be a horse, so it's kind of, you know, I don't know. But yeah, so just did more riding on Busky, took him out in the field, and then he was like, whoa, and you should have heard the whinny just then. It was like, everybody look at me. Um, so I think we're going to deal with that for a little while. Um, hopefully he'll calm down and, you know, I'm going to do everything in my power to help him. But yeah, so that was just a little glimpse into Busky's first week. I hope, I hope you guys enjoy this and, you know, like I said, just take everything with a pinch of salt. I am really not interested in hearing any negativity. It's, I just, not, not with him. He's, he's my boy, you know? Anyway, this, I've, I want to start plaiting his mane better, and I'm okay, but Stacy here is the queen of braids, so I watched the master do what it, do how, like, well, God, I can't speak, show me how it's done, so, so good, and I'm going to keep practicing, and then we actually use electrical tape to tie it up, because I got told by the people in Spain that it is kinder to their mane than using plaiting bands and it helps it helps it grow and not like break it or something so anyway i had to buy pink electrical tape and this angle of my chin makes me ill 
like why have I got such a double chin at that angle I need to work on that but yeah so this was Braden's mane and I cannot wait to share more videos of Busky to come if everyone's nice anyway I love you guys bye I hope you enjoyed